Receiving criticism is never pleasant. However, today I'm gonna to talk about six steps that you can better accept criticism at work. After all, if all you hear are compliments and praise, how will you ever know what you can and should change? And once you start incorporating feedback that people give you, even when it's negative, you're going to find that you do grow yourself. My name is Antoinette Griffin, and my channel is all about confidence, communication, and charisma from an introvert's perspective. So let's get into these six steps on better accepting criticism. And what we're talking about today is constructive criticism. This is criticism that even though it may sting in the beginning, when you think about it, it really is feedback that's meant to help you be better. Step number one, and this one's really hard because I know it is for me, but that is listen without interrupting. It's gonna be really tempting when someone starts giving you negative feedback or critique for you to interrupt to either justify or explain your side of the story or explain where you're coming from. However, when you do that, it looks like that you aren't teachable. So sit back, just commit to not interrupt, hear them out, because a lot of times, once you have heard them out, then you'll have a better perspective on how to respond. And this is no matter what the relationship is. So even if you are a leader and you are hearing some criticism or some negative feedback from someone to just really sit back and hear them out. It shows that no matter what level you're at in an organization, that you are teachable and that you respect the person who's giving you the criticism. Number two, be hyper aware of your body language. Whenever somebody's giving you criticism or negative feedback, they're hyper aware of your body language because they know that you might be defensive. So if you're listening to them and your facial expression is a thinking face where you're thinking about what they're saying, but it's coming across like you're not happy with what they're saying, then they're going to receive it that way. So just be hyper aware to keep positive body language, keep positive eye contact and facial expressions. It's another way of letting them know that you're teachable and that you hear what they want to say. And just as you don't want to interrupt verbally, don't interrupt non-verbally with negative body language. Number three, even if you disagree with what they're telling you, look for one little bit of truth in what they're saying. I love what business leader Kat Cole once said. She said, anytime you're criticized, accept that there is a seed of truth in it. And usually there is because we can all change and grow and get better. Number four, respond with quiet humility. You think about it, the giver of the criticism usually expects to be met with either some kind of defensiveness, justification, or long explanation. The thing that they're usually not expecting is to be met with quiet humility. And so it disarms the situation, meaning that it calms it down. I remember one time giving some criticism to someone with a strong personality, and I was a little nervous about doing it because I figured that she was going to be very defensive or argumentative. And instead, she paused and she responded with quiet humility. It didn't make me respect her less. It made me respect her so much more. Before I get to step number five, if you like this video, I hope that you will press like and I hope you will subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Next, thank the person for their feedback. Think about it. The person goes into the conversation with you knowing what they're going to say, but they have some uncertainty because they don't know how you're going to react. So this conversation is most likely uncomfortable for them as well. After you've had time to process it, if you realize this criticism is going to help you in the long run, even though it stings in the short run, then thank them for the feedback. Consider it a gift, even though you have to swallow your pride to get that gift. Number six, make the changes that you need to make and initiate a follow-up conversation. 
Have you ever provided criticism or feedback to someone and they either don't make changes at all or they only make changes in the short term and then they're back to their old ways? That can be super frustrating because you're thinking, well, now they're aware of what they need to change, but they've just decided to disregard it. Ask them for their feedback. Have they noticed some changes? This might feel uncomfortable and foreign at first, but it really does show that you're confident in yourself, that you're confident enough to initiate a follow-up conversation with them. And they are going to so appreciate it because they'll know that you really are committed to change. If you're in a situation where you feel like you're not getting enough feedback from others, then be sure and check out my video, How to Get Honest Feedback. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.